just a little bit of it. A friend of mine, Bobby Kerr, used to be a roommate. Bobby wanted to go into the area of public relations. He loved working with the public. Young lady he wanted to marry named Clarice. Bobby was a great procrastinator. Pretty soon the job where Bobby worked, they transferred him to another location. He went out to celebrate with the people on that new job site. And Bobby suffered a massive heart attack and died. Bobby didn't drink and didn't smoke, was under 40, and he died. Ask your question, how much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. We don't know. Bobby took all the greatness and all of the talent and all of his abilities to his grave with him. One of the things he could have put in parenthesis under his name, he didn't use all his stuff. And most of, most of us do that. Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got. Using ourselves up. Sharing what we brought into the universe to share. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Stop wasting valuable time. Knowing that if we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take, a, take on a whole new meaning. They take on a whole new expression. Valuing each moment that we are blessed with. The next thing that begins to nurture that hunger, honor yourself as your word. Don't give your word out lightly. When you throw your word out there and you don't honor it, it makes a statement about you. If you decide to maintain a sense of integrity with yourself, that if I speak it, I'm going to live it. It's who I am. And I'm going to be very cautious in how I give my word to others, and most of all with the commitments that I make to myself because I want my life to reflect my words and honoring who I am and what I express. Another challenging area in terms of nurturing and developing that hunger in yourself is learning the art of becoming single-minded. Learning how to concentrate. Learning how to focus in. And you'll be surprised of the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep thine eyes single, you'll be surprised of the ideas that will come to you, of the people that you'll be able to attract, of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You begin to see things that have been standing there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. Here's a habit that I do. Maybe it might be of some value to you. I get up in the morning. And I start writing, what great ideas that I can think of today that can improve me and that will enable me to reach my goal. And I just let my mind flow. Sometimes I write 15, 20 ideas. Some days it's more difficult than others. One idea can change your life. One idea can turn your life around. Deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills. The guy was, was um, the new owner of a team. A team, a baseball team that was in the basement of the league when he took it over. He went to the pitcher and he said, what is your best throw? And he said, well, I got a good curveball and I've got a good fastball. And he went on talking about his different throws. He said, but tell me this, what is your best throw? He thought for a moment. He said, I've got a good fastball. He said, that's all I want you to work on. Nothing else. Just develop your fastball. The next year, they went to the World Series. Most people don't know where their fastball is. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. Most of us don't like to do those things that come easy to us. I've always loved to talk to people. I decided taking this advice to develop my skills as a speaker, 
And my gift has developed and it developed and has taken me many places. You have something that you brought to the universe and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me